We did one of my cross countries. You do several cross countries with your instructor before you do them on your own. Mm -hmm. And we left Springfield and we were flying back to Branson, the last leg of our cross country. And uh, he, uh, he asked when the, when the tower released us to our own. And I turned to my heading. He asked what heading I was on, and I told him. He said, "Oh, you calculated that wrong." And I was like, "Oh shit!" And he's like, "Yeah, turn to this heading." So I turned to this heading. And after a while, he said, "Okay, I'm gonna tired. I gotta study late tonight. I got a test tomorrow." He said, so "Wake me up when we get to Branson." And curled up next to the door and. I'm, I'm flying along, looking at my sectional, sectional looking, looking at the ground, looking at my sectional, sectional looking, looking at the ground, and it probably wasn't five, five minutes, and uh, I, I was Tango uniform. uniform. I was like, mm. fuck, where the fuck am I? I? <laughs> and I'm looking over at him, and I'm like, God, I don't want to wake him up. You know, it's like, I'll, I'll look like a dipshit. And so I uh, thought, well, you know, I've been trained to use them by anybody here in school or at the airport, but... I looked on the sectional and found the nearest VOR and there you go. tuned it in and there you go. shot one beam and then uh -huh. in another one and shot another and cross-referenced uh -huh. it. I was like, okay, there should be a uh, uh, quarry. I remember it. It was a quarry right here. And I looked down and I was like, there's the quarry. And I'm off. I'm off track. So I changed my heading to turn towards Branson and it wasn't probably... 30, 30 seconds, seconds after, after I did that, he popped his head up, he was faking it, and he's like, you did, you did that, that quick, quick. And, and I was like, well, nothing, nothing was matching up on the chart, chart. and he's like, good, good job, job. he's like, like uh, who taught you to use the radios, radios? and it's like, like uh, uh, the navigation my, radios, and the Microsoft Flight Simulator, because graphics sucks back then, that's funny, yeah, so, you know, he said he had, he did that to all of his students, and, you know, which, you know, he was just a junior, so how many students did he have? But he said one guy, one guy would have been, he lost, flew all the way to Branson before he went, I mean, not Branson, all the way to, uh, he went into Arkansas before he turned around. Mm-mm-mm. So, so does uh, 36 get kind of narrower? Or? Nah, it's still too lame out there, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, where is it? <laughs> I, think I think it's off the left, left over here. <laughs> just, just went through that, that little town, town right, right over there yeah. to our left. I don't see it. Here, I'll, here, I'll dip, dip my wings through the town under a wing. On my, on my side. side. Not jumping out at it. Well, okay, yeah, okay. okay. So, so, so it curves into, into that town. And then, and then comes, comes back, back out, out the way we're, we're going, going right here. Well, we're... It's hard for me to see, but maybe. Uh, uh, i got to figure out where we're at. We're not going to do this. Well, you got to be pretty much heading west. That's St. Saint Saint Joseph, Joseph VFR there. there. we got a VOR BQS coming up. Bramer, Bramer, that's, that's the Bramer, Bramer view of uh, the OR. And then, and then after, after Bramer's, Bramer's Cameron. Cameron. There you go. So we're we're getting there. That's a, well, the St. Joe is only about 30 miles on. We can go on to St. Joe if you want. Yeah, that's, that's fine. It's a bigger airport. airport. I'm, I'm wondering if you hear the ATIS. ATIS. Let me see here. No? Okay, no, no, I'll try, try to tune one in and see, see if you get it. Let's see here. So, uh, what frequency are you dialing in? Well, let, well, me, let dial me dial it in and see if it changes, changes on the radio, radio first. Let's see here. I'm trying to find, find the latest that's close to us. Let's see if you can camera in. Let me go over here to Elwood. Coast of Elwood. Well, let me pull up Cameron on the airport chart.
So is Cameron, Cameron T-35 or? I don't know. Well, I'll go back to the chart. <laughs> So what I'd like to do, I think, is uh, stop at St. Joe, and then pick it up at St. Joe, and then head on from there next time we fly, and go to uh, Miller, which is not far from my house. Cool. cool. Yeah, let's do it. Easy, easy. Yep. Okay. So. Cameron. Ready. Public. It is 125.05. Okay, okay, I'm going to try to tune that in. Usually, Usually my radio is lit up, but it's not. not. So let me see if my knobs are at least working. working. Yep, yep they're working. Yep, you're changing 124.5.01. I'm trying to see. 0.5. Okay, hold on. No, 0.25 is what I see. Right, right I got to change it to uh, 05. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm turning the wrong right one. There we go. 050. Okay. okay. Changing it to active. 125050. I, I hear nothing. Me neither. We may, we may still, still be too far, far out. I don't know. Right. Before you leave here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, there's a team that has a wonderful gentleman who's been helping us all through this. Let me. Yeah, yeah, we, we should have heard, heard it. Yeah, sure, COM1 is on. Yep, I see that. Can't seem to turn the volume, though. It's uh, pumping up. I don't know about a volume control. Well, it well, shows arrow down, down, arrow up on the volume control, but... Uh, when, when I, spin I spin the wheel, wheel it just zooms me in and out. It's all right. It'll, it'll pop, pop on here after a while. I'd be tickled if we hear it. Because see, actually, actually they're, they're using the anus out of St. Joe, Joe, which is even, even farther, farther beyond mm. Cameron. It's so. about 30 miles. Well, well, and sometimes, sometimes in these game ones, ones thank you. I can I have flights in. in. Like, like in real life, it's 125.05, but, but it would be like 125.25 or something. Ah. In flight sim, so let me check. Uh, yeah, just come over there, so does uh, Cessna uh, still exist as a company? <sighs> Boy, I don't know. Let me check on uh, Wiki here. I know, I know uh, like, like their one, one plane, plane uh, which, which I really, really like, the uh, uh, Skymaster. Sky hmm. uh, there's, there's actually a different company that has taken the airframe, airframe and rebuilt it. it. Hmm. And, and now, now that plane is known, known as whatever, whatever they call it. it. And, and I, I never knew that because I was driving, driving by home, coming home, home one day from work, work and I saw a Skymaster at our airport sitting between the hangars because I'm always gawking over there. Mm -hmm. So I pulled off to go look at it because I'm like, oh yeah. Because I did nice, did nice to do that movie Bat 21 or something. Oh, I think you fly the intruder. Yep. Bat 21 is another one that's got a Danny Glover in it. He's flying as a Ford air controller for like down pilots finding him. And, and a Skymaster. Sky Master. And, and that's, you know, you know what that, that one is, right? right? I don't uh, think so. It's, it's the, the uh, they, they call them the O2 bird, bird dog, I think, in the military. But it's, uh, it's, it's the one that has a pusher and a pull prop. prop. It's a twin, twin engine. Mm. Uh, with, with a T tail, kind of not a T tail, but a two fuselage tail and a weird tail on it. And it has the engine right in the middle and the back. And then the engine in the front. I don't think I know that one. 
Yeah, yeah it's an awesome, awesome plane. plane. Mm. And, uh, oh, oh, well, well it's, it's the movie Always, always too. too. Did, you Did you watch, watch always? always? I've seen it once. Maybe. Oh, okay. Well, well the, the plane, plane she flies, flies back, back from John Goodman, Goodman when he convinces, convinces her to come, come back. back. After, After what's his name dies, and she's been gone for a few years, and living, living kind, kind of in a funk as a, as a uh, air, air traffic controller. controller. It's he, been too long. Yeah, yeah. She, she flies, flies that, that one back. back. Yeah. But, uh, well, well, see, see, I, I watch those, those movies because they're aviation movies. movies. Like, yeah. I them out and watch them every now and then. <laughs> but, uh, so, uh, anyway, anyway, it was, it was sitting, sitting over there, and I ran over there to look at it while it was there and getting, I guess, one of the hangers there. There's a couple mechanics that work out of there. Doing uh, annual, annual inspections, inspections and teardowns and repairs and things, and that's mm-hmm. what they were doing with an uh, annual inspection on it. And I said, Oh my god, I love these planes. And he called it a something, and I was like, What? And I was like, This is a Skymaster? So I went home and looked up the Skymaster, and then there it was all out with Wikipedia that, um, you know, that. Um, that airframe had been basically taken over by this other company. Mm. And uh, so, so that plane was basically known as that, that now. Ah. <laughs> it's still ah. Skymaster. I think, I think it, was it was still Skymaster, but, but it wasn't. They used the other, the other name. Let me, let me see, see here. History. Uh, let me see here. Founded, Founded in 1927. 1927. I'm not, I'm not seeing an end date, and, and they do have a website. website. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah they're, they're still building planes. planes. Well, well, yeah, yeah they, they would, would be because, because they've got, got their, uh, their, their jet, jet, their uh, ship. The Mustang. Um, the the citation. 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 And then, and then they, they have, have the caravan, caravan Grand, Grand Caravan. caravan. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. yeah. Ooh, this, and this, and this one, one, too. The Cessna Denali, Denali. I've seen it. But shame. The 172, it would be awesome to have one of these, but I can't fly it. Now, now they, they still, still build the Skyhawk, which, which is what, the 182? Oh, here's, oh, here's the Skylane, Skylane. That's, that's the 172, 172 isn't, it? isn't it? I think. That's just a new version of the 172, isn't it? I think. Yeah, I think so. So, yeah, they got, they got one. Mm. Like I said, it's about $150,000, though. Well, I better only have two of those. <laughs> Yeah, you know, well, I, I would be happy, happy just to have, have you, know, you know, a good, good forty thousand. You know, if you know, my wife got, got some big windfall, windfall and, and I would build me a, a uh, what is it, a BE two or something, the Bristol two seater, where it's like a gunner was sitting in front, and mm. pilots behind, and it's a pusher prop, a World War One. Build me a, you know, it's basically an experimental. LSA, LSA aircraft, aircraft. Mm-hmm. Like I just go out and fly on sunny, sunny days and yeah. maybe, you know, learn to do some maneuvers. Here, Here I've, I've got, got you in the plane, plane. We'll, we'll try to do this. Uh, I've, only I've only been, been able to do it a couple times in a simulator, so we'll see how this works. <laughs> Alright, so, so uh, here, let's, let's climb up before we do this. What are we going to do? Because I'm going to actually stall. Get some altitude here. Slow, slow flight. flight. You ever done that slow, slow flight? flight? Mm, probably not. Okay. What, what you, you do is, is um, I'm going to hold the altitude, altitude and, and I'm, I'm going to slowly, slowly pull the throttle, throttle out. And, and when we reach the flat zone, zone I'm going to add the flaps, flaps back in. in. And, and I'm, I'm going to try to keep her from stalling. Oh, it's going to snap, isn't it? No, no. no. What, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the power back in. Basically, basically what we're going to do is we're going to be hanging on the prop. prop. Oh, my. Yeah. yeah. So, so basically, well, I've, I've done, done this before, before in a real plane. And uh, basically, basically what it does is, it is it basically you're almost, almost going to be, so, so if, you know, you're, you're facing into the wind and there's a 20 knot wind or so, you're basically becoming a helicopter for ground speed wise. Mm. And, I've and I've been able to pull it off a couple times in a simulator, uh, so, so that'll, that'll be the true test, test to see if this, if, if I can do that. Because I have, I have trouble, trouble kind of slipping this, this one. one. At, least At least it feels, feels like it. Like it. Yeah, you said I was dropping, dropping a ton of altitude. So Looked like it's yeah. me. I was, I was still, still pretty.